Hi guys, my name is Matthew Baker. I'm here to show you how to replace your window switch, mirror switch, and uh, trunk switch assembly in your Mercedes E320. Um, the chassis is a W210. This procedure is um, probably identical in the 1996 model year as well as the you know, 1997, which we're working with right here. The design changed a little bit in 1998 and 1999 for these vehicles, so um, the procedure is probably, like I say, very similar, but there might be some minor differences. Uh, there are minor differences in the wiring in the type of assembly that you'll get, but the procedure for lifting out the uh, center console panel should be pretty straightforward, pretty simple. Uh, this probably also applies to the W123 chassis, W140 chassis, you know, the predecessor E-Class, the SL-Class, um, the W1, <coughs> sorry, W140, which is the S-Class, the procedure is probably very similar for a lot of these uh, mid to late 90s models of Mercedes-Benz. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. So here we have our center console. Um, it's in great shape, there's really no damage to it at all, but uh, the problem that I was having was that uh, the mirror switch here would not work, and that's, you know, due to fluids getting spilled in here, shorting out the circuit board. I tried cleaning out the circuit, uh, the circuit board on this, but there was just, there was no luck, um, you know, I couldn't get it to work still. So I ended up buying a new assembly for this, and if you want to replace this, you're also going to have to buy this whole assembly, so uh, it's all on one one circuit board. So let's get started on that. So for this job, you can use a really a large screwdriver. I prefer to use an uh, interior panel uh, removal tool. <clears throat> it's basically just like a two-prong screwdriver. Uh, pretty flat so you can get under interior panels. Uh, this one works extremely well. Um, first thing you want to do is to remove the trim ring on the um, on the gear shift. So all you need to do is just find a spot to pry it. You might want to use a small screwdriver at first just to get it started. And then you want to evenly distribute the leverage so I have my tool under there now. And this is just um, held in with some plastic clips, so super straightforward, super easy. This is, you know, surprisingly very, very durable. I just clicked my uh, trunk switch, so that just came up. Okay, so I have that ring off. You can see the clips that hold it in place. Let's move that off to the side. Next thing you want to do, and a lot of people get very worried because they don't want to break it, but, you know, you want to remove this whole trim piece, all the buttons and everything are going to come with it. And you're going to use probably a lot of force, you know, with your fingers, but don't worry, you're, you know, most likely not going to break it. Um, it was actually designed to, uh, the clips were designed to hold this in pretty tight. So just grab your fingers under here and just pull up. So that's one end. Pull up on the other end. Just uh, find a way to get your fingers under there. And again, this is in very tight, extremely tight as you can see, but that's how it's designed. So don't worry, you didn't break anything, or you shouldn't have at least, but you can now just pull this over the gear shift, and you can kind of see the clips holding it there. They're uh, very strong metal, uh, very strong metal clips. So if you look under the underside of this, you'll see all the wiring, you'll see the wiring. This is for your um, trunk release switch. And this is the wiring for your mirror controls. And then uh, basically your window switches are all along the bottom of this, uh, of this here. So in order to remove the switches themselves, if you look, if I could turn this over to the side, uh, you can see that there's just some uh, clips that you just slide back. So slide those forward. And this has been in here for a while, so it's going to be a little tighter. But all you really do is you just slide the clip forward and then just push push these down and then that should come out. Again, all of this, all of this is a complete assembly. So it's all gonna come out together and you can kind of see 
that all this is connected so literally once you just take off all the electronics and everything uh, you're just going to be left with uh, you're just going to be left with this trim piece here so yeah just slide the clips on uh, on your switches like so and then all you need to do is you know literally just uh, once you do both sides just push these push these down through and you know you can order a new switch uh, new switch set they're going to come with you know brand new switches for your windows brand new switches for your mirror uh, like i say it's all one piece um you know for the switches that i received i actually went on ebay and i bought the just some uh you know no name brand that's supposed to be like the original you know I'm, i've been satisfied with it i've had it for a year and a half um everything works as it should you know, this switch set was only $20, $25 plus shipping. The original Mercedes-Benz, you know, OEM switch set is $150 or $200, $200, depending on where you get it from. I didn't want to spend that much money on it, so I just went with the, you know, Made in China switch set, which, again, it looks identical to the original switch set, and it works fine. I can't really tell any difference whatsoever, so... It's, you know, worked for a year and a half, works great, no issues, no complaints. Um, I would definitely recommend that, yeah, especially if you don't want to invest so much money in a 20-year-old car. So uh, that's pretty much all there is to it. Again, clips on the back of the window switches, just slide the clip forward, they'll pop out. Same thing on the other side, and just disconnect the wiring back here, the couple clips, and then, you know, you're all set. So... Uh, you could put in your replacement piece and just take that back over. And clip it in. And just take your trim ring. And that just slides in. It could be a little tricky, but just make sure you have all the edges in. Just slide down, slide in. And then boom, you're good to go. And that's all there is to it. So pretty straightforward, pretty easy job. Again, only really used uh, two tools here, just the small tiny screwdriver to get under here, and then my interior trim uh, tool to actually pull that up. So if you don't have a you don't have this it's three dollars at the auto parts store five dollars at the auto parts store you could also use a big screwdriver so either way um that's pretty much it there's really nothing more to it all right hope that was informative and uh stay tuned for the next videos thank you